Sleeping for Golf and Life Part 2. I just got interrupted. I have to start over again. So, so yeah, um, <clears throat> take the light out. You know, this uh, hat works. Just put it kind of close to your eyes. Put it lower than you usually wear it. And, um, you know, it just blocks out anything that's above you. Turn down your phone, uh, turn down your laptop, turn down all that kind of stuff, all right? And another thing too is, if you need to set an alarm for the morning, if you can set it, uh, if you can set it within an hour and a half increments, your, your sleep cycle goes like this. You start here and you're awake, you go down a little bit, and then by the time an hour and a half goes around, you come back up. And then you go down even deeper, hour and a half, so this would be three hours into sleep, down here, this would be an uh, hour or four and a half hours. And then six, it starts to go up a little bit, another hour and a half. And then um, uh, seven and a half would be, uh, you know, would be almost a perfect sleep. They say sleep eight hours, right? However, the cycles get a little longer as they go on. So if you can only get six hours of sleep, or if you, you know, if you're stuck between six and eight or something, what you want to do is, Give yourself, you know, however long it takes for you to go to sleep, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, and, um, and set your alarm for six hours and about 15 minutes, maybe six hours and 20 minutes past the time that you think you'll be conked out. Because when that time comes in the morning, six hours and 20 minutes after you've been sleeping, you're gonna be your most wakeful. Uh, sometimes what I'll do, if, I'm, if I know if I go to sleep now, I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the sleep cycle. So say, uh, what would it be, uh, six hours and 45 minutes or seven hours. I will stay up another 20 minutes just to be able to wake up right at the peak because I don't want to start to go you know, down into um, the depths of the sleep cycle and then have to wake up. You know what I mean? So that's something I've done for, seems like six or seven years through college uh, university through working through waking up at 345 for three day, uh, months straight working every single day um, you know I'd always go to sleep where I knew I was either gonna get six hours and 15 minutes of sleep or um, or like eight eight hours and about 10 minutes so it's kind of crazy so eight hours and 10 minutes uh, six hours and about yeah I'd say 20 minutes or so because the sleep cycles get a little longer, or if you get even less, you know, the four and a half, so it'd be about four hours and 45 minutes of sleep. So that's kind of your choices, four and 45, um, six hours, 20 minutes, and then eight hours and, uh, what is it? Um, yeah, 15 or so, yeah, eight hours, 15 minutes. So that will help. Uh, also, maybe don't eat a heck of a lot right before you go to sleep, maybe, you know, Give yourself an hour or two. I've noticed I wake up uh, having more energy if I don't uh, eat right before I go to sleep. <clears throat> and uh, if you do have something protein, you know, uh, I've got peanut butter going here, maybe an avocado or something. Uh, I just had uh, rice and uh, and fish, so I'm gonna go to sleep here probably in about a half an hour. And uh, I'm happy tomorrow I get to sleep in for once. So. That's pretty much it. You know, get get your sleep cycles dialed in, set your alarm. You can research this. This isn't me, this is my theory. This is in all the psychology books, it's all over the internet. And you can use it to feel better when you wake up, if you set your alarm at the right time. And block light out. And then when you get up in the morning, maybe should I wait that for another video? How to wake up for golf? Maybe I will. All right, thank you, peace. Best of luck to you, and uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you found something that's that's different that's helped you with your sleep, and uh, get a little conversation going so we can all sleep better. Because sleep is one of the biggest components for health, for mental clarity, uh, just for general well-being, as you probably know. And most people in the world are totally underslept and overworked and. Under